evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Today, we'll take a closer look at an event steeped in tradition that involves the presence of U.S. presidential candidates. However, this year, a notable absence has raised some eyebrows and sparked a conversation. Summary. For the first time in the history of this event, jokes made by the attendees will be fact-checked. This dinner has always been an important tradition where both Democrat and Republican presidential candidates are expected to attend. It's almost seen as a rule, one you can't break without facing serious consequences. Historically, not attending this dinner has led to unfavorable outcomes, as seen with Democrat Walter Mondale, who skipped the event and went on to lose 49 out of 50 states in the election. The speaker acknowledges how important this event is to the Catholic community and expresses disappointment in their opponent's absence. They view it as a sign of disrespect, not only to the event itself, but to the values it represents. The speaker even jokes that despite challenges, they made sure to be present, implying that not attending could result in bad luck, much like it did for Mondale. Moreover, the speaker suggests that the opponent might be absent due to spending time hunting with their running mate, which adds a layer of humor to their critique. Despite this, the speaker points out the oddity of being labeled weird, while the absence of the opponent from such a significant event is truly what's strange. Closing. In conclusion, the absence of a key candidate from this traditional event has sparked criticism and added an element of unpredictability to an otherwise customary evening. Whether this absence will have lasting consequences remains to be seen, but it certainly leaves room for debate. Thank you for your time.